Hey everyone and welcome to the channel, my name is Ash and I'm here with a review for Pretty Girls Klondike Solitaire Plus on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I reviewed this on Steam on its original release. It's now been brought to consoles or PlayStation and Nintendo consoles on the 15th of February 2024. Now, this is pretty much exactly the same game. Obviously, it's been ported over and released by publisher East Asia Soft Limited, who are kind of sending me a copy for this review. Now, you can play it on PS4, PS5, or the Nintendo Switch. I've been playing it on the Switch, and while the core game is the same, the one benefit of the Switch I found over playing it on my like laptop previously is that it has touch control, so you can just tap on the screen and like drag and stuff like that, which is nice, especially because it's a card game. Now, for those that don't know, this is another game in the Pretty Girls series. Now, the Pretty Girls series are basically a selection of games that are themed around, like, pretty, large-chested anime women. And the games themselves are usually card games, like you've got Mahjong. Sometimes you've got things like uh, Block Breaker-style gameplay. And they're all different they're all sort of standalone, but they also link together with similar characters and art styles and stuff like that. Now, this one is Solitaire. It's using the Klondike rules for anyone who is super interested. And there's 11 different female challengers to take on. And, and that basically means there's like 11 different levels that you can try with multiple difficulty modes from easy, normal and hard. Once you beat the girl like you finish that level on a certain difficulty you unlock them in one of a couple of costumes which can then be used in the diorama mode which you can see on screen right now you basically can place them on the screen and like screenshot them in sort of different positions different environments stuff like that now gameplay wise isn't bad at all there are a lot of accessibility options and stuff like that um for hints and tips and the game sort of pushes you to do it as fast as possible there is a timer but you can finish it whenever you want there's no like time limit but the more you do moves you build up a combo and that gives you more points now you have multiple options there's a hint button which gives you a hint shuffle which shuffles all the cards up and redeals them out that aren't currently in play expose and undo so you never really need them that much. I mean, most of the time, I only got stuck when I was playing a game and there wasn't much it could really do for me bar shuffling the deck. I kind of know how to play. If you don't know how Solitaire works, you've got like a pile of cards and you can basically put the next card that's lower than it. So if you've got a four, you can put a three below it, but it has to be the opposite colour. So it has to go like black, red, black, red, black, red. And you then have like a line at the top of the screen, which is where you place an ace. And then you can basically lay up cards out of the next one up so if you've got an ace of hearts you can lay a two of hearts and a three of hearts and slowly but surely you'll clear the entire board and that's the aim of the game now it's simple you can play this with one or three card draws and that's about it like I say if you like card games you'll probably enjoy this if you like solitaire it's a nice little thing to play for a couple of hours obviously it does have the uh large chested anime ladies that get in skimpier and skimpier outfits now there's nothing nudity or anything like that but they do get into much more revealing clothing the higher difficulty you complete um but other than that yeah it's not bad it does um feature like actual voice acting in japanese as well for the different uh females and all in it's not a bad little solitaire game you've just got to get past the obvious um <laughs> theming that may not be for everyone now, this is available right now. It's already been released uh, last year on Steam. So, it's uh, made by Zoo Corporation. Now being ported over to PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. And on the Nintendo Switch eShop, you can grab it right now for the grand total of £4.39 on sale. I believe it's about £5.99 full price. So make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more gaming content, guys. Bye for now.